Hello and welcome to a video on how to sneakily greatly increase your income as the Rebellion. Now most people know that Alliance Envoys can be built to steal credits and they are pretty effective but I don't think people understand just how effective these things can be. Alliance Envoys can be made from intelligence centers which cost about 6,000 credits and can be built on pretty much any planet if you have the room for them. I believe you start out with one on Bothawi. And Alliance Envoys only cost 300 credits, so you can really get them going in that early game. But Alliance Envoys are really effective early, mid, and late game, so they're really effective no matter where you are in your campaign. Like I said, Alliance Envoys only cost 300 credits, meaning they're very, very cheap. You have a build limit of 4 on them, however, once you deploy them onto a planet, you can build more than 4, so you can technically steal from every planet. You can only steal credits from planets controlled by the Empire or the Black Sun. That means you can't steal from the Corporate Sector Authority or the Hapes or the Huts, but that's no big deal because you've got plenty of targets from the Empire and the Black Sun. You can also not steal from neutral planets. So how do exactly do these things work? When you have them highlighted on one, you can see that you can gather support from planets. Now what planets do you want to gather support from? Even though it says right here on Anaxes, it says plus 75. That's not the actual amount of credits that you're going to be stealing. Once you have an Alliance Envoy on top of the planet, you will see actually how many credits it says. So right now it says plus 75, but that's not taking into account the buildings that the Empire has built on there. As you can see, now that I have an Alliance Envoy on top of it, it says plus 314. So as you can see, it is very, very important to make sure that you have an Alliance Envoy on top of the planet so you can see exactly how many credits that planet is making. In this case, on Kuat, you can see that it's making negative 285. So if I were to gather support from Kuat, I would actually be making negative income. So I, obviously, you're not going to want to be doing that. Each Alliance Envoy, when you gather support, will take half of the credits being made from that planet. So instead of the Empire making those credits, you will be making those credits. So this 300 credit Alliance Envoy can steal from Anaxes. And remember it said 314. Once this Alliance Envoy gets there, it'll now say about whatever half of that is. 352 if my math's correct. Nope, 357. Or 157, sorry. So half of those credits will be making from us. It actually tells us right there, 157 credits per week. Now, these Alliance Envoys will not stay there forever. Just how, as if you're playing the Empire, you're going to want to kill those Envoys. The AI will also kill your Envoys every now and then. But planets like Aragu, if I had an Alliance Envoy on top of it, it would be saying it's making a 1,000 credits. So I put one here, and now I'm making 646 credits per week from that Alliance Envoy. And now, obviously, you can see Anaxes is only making 157 as well. So basically this video was just to show that Alliance Envoys are very underrated. They only cost 300 credits. You can have basically an infinite amount of them stealing from one planet each. And Coruscant is another good example. 461 credits. Boom, gather support. Now we're making an extra 231 credits. And that's just another great way for the Rebellion to greatly increase their income.